my name is Colin. I'm from Singapore. I'm doing a PhD program in finance at the School of Business and Management, Institute of Technology, Bandung. I chose University of St. Gallen, Switzerland to pursue my PhD. I was accepted, but I waited for a long time uh, to find an advisor. Uh, I wanted to work under Professor Lee Choi Chong, yeah, but he had too many students under his supervision. So he told me to uh, apply to the PhD program at the School of Business and Management, ITB, and see if I can get in, yeah, give it a try. I study an ETB SPM, I just don't study in this building. The building is dead, you know, but the human beings is the most important. So I've interacted with my professors. I think they are one of the most caring professors I've met in my life. I've interacted with professors all over the world. You know, some professors are very concerned about publishing, producing knowledge, and that's all they care, you know. You are just a robot, a computer to work, machine. But not these professors, of course they want me to publish, but they also care about my life, who I am, my family, my health, how am I doing. So this is the, the personal touch that I receive from SBM. It's very unusual. Yeah. Yeah, something that is very memorable and very unforgettable. Something that's very good actually. I wish more professors in the world can do that too, not just making the students, pushing them hard to produce, but also care for them as a human being. My thesis is in search of low risk, high return portfolio during crisis. Yeah, and using the theoretical and empirical evidence. Okay, to put in layman terms, to explain to you what it actually means. So I'm basically looking for investment portfolio. Investment portfolio is like where you put your money. You know, it can be in stocks. Uh, in my case, it's stocks, bonds, and currencies. So how you allocate uh, the sum of money you have in this portfolio so that the risk is low, but the return is high. Uh, this is a little bit unusual because people will tell you low risk, low return. High risk, high return. No risk, no return. But very few people tell you low risk, high return. And that's what I'm trying to do. Because uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, to identify certain kind of risk like credit, market and liquidity risk that is very much present in the financial market. And if I can hedge the risk, manage it properly basically, I can get the high return. That's how I came out with this idea. When you invest your money in something, maybe in property or whatever, or in a business, you know, or stocks or bonds or currencies, a lot of people will tell you the profit. They seldom tell you much about the risk actually. They just tell you there's risk, you know, but they are not quite clear what the risk is. I'm a little bit different. I will tell you more about the risk than you want to know. Because I believe uh, if you can manage the risk properly, the profit will take care of itself. You don't need to worry about the profit. Why? Because the profit comes from the risk you take. So if you can manage the risk properly, you will definitely get the profit you want. That's my thinking. You don't have to believe me. But that's what I do for a living. And I found that it works. That's because I'm a practitioner also. So I try to bring what I practice into my thesis. Because most PhD theses is like blue sky research, you know, very high up there in the sky. Not many people understand, they do not know how to use it. My opinion, my thinking, my philosophy is to come up with a thesis to contribute to the pool of knowledge so that everybody can use. You can use my portfolio idea to make money, so can you, so can the Warung Kaki Lima, so can the Tukang Pakir. To lead means you are able to motivate. You are able to share your mission and your vision with people you are leading. 